Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy. I thought I'd give you a quick update what Google is bringing to Google Calendar on the web. Now, if you've been using your Android or your iPhone, you'll already know what reminders are. Well, Google is now bringing that feature to your web view of your Google Calendar. Now, this is a really handy piece because this is going to allow you to keep track of all those to-dos and you can even assign a specific time for those to-dos to be done. So let's go ahead and show you how you're going to access those. Now to the left of your screen, you're probably going to already have your task list or your to-do list turned on. Your task list pops up to the upper right corner of your screen and any task that you assign a due date to, but not a time to, will show up at the top of your bar here where you have that different task to be done at. Now what you can do is you can access reminders. Now if you go to the left side of our screen here where our task list is in our My Calendars list, if you hover over it, you'll see a little pull down arrow up here just to the right of it. If we click on that pull down arrow, we can click on switch to reminders. Now when you do this, it doesn't look like anything's really going to happen. But here's where the magic starts. Now let's say for example, you have to do an errand or something for work, whatever it may be, later on in your day. So we're going to come here to Monday 418 and let's say at 4 p.m. we're just going to click and at the very top you'll notice that in the box it now gives you an option of creating a reminder. So we can click on reminder, remind me to, now I can describe what my reminder is going to be. So let's say for example I need to drop books off at the library. Now I can assign this as a specific due date and time for something to occur. I can also click on all day as an option and it takes the time away. Or I can make this a repeating item. So if I click on repeat, just like within a calendar event, it will tell you in terms of how do you want it to repeat. Every X amount of days, weeks, months, or years. And then you also have when it ends. Never ending, after X amount of occurrences, or on a specific date. And right now we can see what that summary is as in daily. So let's go back and we're just going to make this for this specific time at 4 p.m. We'll click on create and you'll see here it's added my reminder to my calendar view. Now the really nice part about reminders is that they show up at the specific time on your calendar view of when you want something to occur. Now for me I know the really helpful piece about this is that if it isn't completed it will appear at the top of your calendar on the next day and the day after until you either actually mark it done or you delete it. So just to show you what this looks like, if we come to our reminder and click on it, we will click on either delete or we can click on mark is done and you'll see it will strike it through up at the very top and you'll see that this reminder has been marked as done. Now if I delete it, it will remove it. Now otherwise, if I have not completed it, it would just show up on the next day at the very top just saying you've got one reminder. So you can always access those there. Another cool feature of your calendar reminders here is that they will sync up with your iPhone or Android devices. So you'll always have those on the go and in sync together. So that's it. I just wanted to show you that great new feature that Google has now added to your web view of your Google Calendar. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.